Daily Times Marshall News Bulletin. In this bulletin, you will get today's all the big updates of Marshall Pradesh in one move. Moving to the first news of today's bulletin, highway still stalled due to landslide in Jury. Stone falling from the hill became an obstacle in the restoration of the route. The highway which has closed due to heavy landslide from a hill near Juri in Shimla district of Himachal Pradesh has not been restored even after the last 27 hours. The stones falling intermittently from the hill are hampering the restoration work. Since Tuesday morning, the team of National Highway Authority is busy in restoring the highway. There was a mild landslide here for the last four days. There was a big crack in the hill on Monday. A massive landslide occurred from the hill at around 9 am. Debris and rocks got absorbed in Satluj River. On the other hand, Kinnor district was cut off from the rest of the world due to the disruption of the national highway. Due to the blockade of the highway, the problems of commuters and motorists going from Shimla to Kinnor and Kinnor to Shimla have increased. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, prohibition on collecting hostel mass fees for six months in colleges. The Himachal Pradesh government has banned the collection of hostel and mess fees in colleges for six months. Simultaneously, the Directorate of Higher Education has issued instructions in this regard to the private and government college principals of the state on Monday. Citing the financial condition of many parents due to the corona crisis, the principal have been asked to charge the students only monthly or bi-monthly basis only. Director of Higher Education Dr. Amarjit Kumar Sharma informed that the complaints have been received from students in private and government colleges of degree, B.Ed, Law and Sanskrit of the state for charging hostel and mess fees for six months or more. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, two buyers missing the three crore apples from Bata Kufar and Parla Market. Case registered. The claims of the state government to stop cheating with the gardeners have proved to be hollow. Two buyers are missing from Thiok Parla in Himachal Pradesh and Bata Kufar Fruit Market in Shimla with apples worth about rupees 3 crore. The police has started preparation to hand over the case to SIT after registering the case. The buyer of East Champaran in Bihar is missing after buying apples worth rupees 2 crore from Thiok Parla's market. Since 2011, the buyers was coming to Shimla Bata Kufar Market to buy apples and use to send apples to Nepal besides Bihar. His mobile is switched off since 27th August. Taking advantage of the holidays during the last May, it disappeared from the market. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, Maharashtra government also will decide the future of Himachal's Dharamshala. Whether Dharamshala will become the second capital of Himachal Pradesh or not, the Jaira government will decide after the information sought from Maharashtra government. The state government has written a letter to Maharashtra government seeking information related to the functioning of two capitals. So according to it, it can reconsider the earlier decision to make two capitals in the state. However, even writing letters for several times, no response has come from the Maharashtra government. During the previous Congress government, the then Chief Minister Veer Bhadra Singh had announced to make Dharamshala the second capital in January 2017 on the demand of the public during the winter stay. After in March 2017, the cabinet approved this proposal and then the General Administration Department also issued a notification in this regard. However, a person named Paresh Sharma has filed a petition in this regard in the High Court declaring the decision illegal. Moving to the next news in today's bulletin, realizing the crack in the hill, the traffic was stopped. 15 minutes before. The traffic on the national highway was stopped 15 minutes before due to the rift in the hill due to the possibility of landslide. Landslides were taking place in Juri of Rampur Bushar in Himachal Pradesh. Since the night of September 4, after restoring the route on Monday morning, the crack in the hill was noticed. Due to this, the traffic on this route was stopped. Hundreds of vehicles are now stuck on both sides of National Highway due to the closure of the road due to landslides. There are thousands of people among them. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, which is a big announcement by Chief Minister for Electricity Board. Electricity Board teammate and junior assistant will be promoted in three years, CM announced. The promotion period of the junior teammate and junior assistant category employees of Himachal Pradesh State Electricity Board will now be three years. The government has reduced the period from five years to three years. A delegation of Indian Labour Union led by President Madan Rana met Chief Minister Jairam Thakur on Monday. The Chief Minister announced to reduce the promotion period from five years to three years for junior teammate and junior assistant category employees working in Himachal Pradesh State Electricity Council. He said that the employees are the backbone of the state government. He implements the schemes and the programs of the state government on the ground. Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, which tells us about the corona situation in Himachal Pradesh. Two infected died in Himachal, 218 new positive cases. Two more corona positive patients died in Himachal Pradesh on Monday. An 80-year-old woman in Bilaspur 
and a 48 year old infected person succumbed to their injuries on the other hand there have been 218 new cases of corona in the state in last 24 hours the death toll of corona in the state has reached 3597 at the same time 214732 corona cases have been registered in the state so far out of these 2,9417 people have been cured from corona corona active cases in the state remains 1699 out of these there are 121 active cases in bilaspur district chamba 85 amirpur 233 kamra 366 Kinnaur 26, Kullu 66, Lahore City 33, Mandi 397, Sirmur 7, Shimla 231, Solan 84, and Una 50. During the last 24 hours, 159 patients have been cured from Corona, and samples of 9,069 people have been taken for Corona examination. Moving ahead in today's bulletin, there will be brainstorming on 25th September on the demands of 2.5 lakh employees of Himachal. A meeting of Joint Consultative Council has been called on 25th September. September at 11 a.m. to resolve the issues of the employees of Himachal Pradesh. After five years, the state government will solve the issues of two and a half lakh employees. The former Veer Madhur Singh government also conducted only one JCC in the year 2015 in a span of five years. This will be the first JCC to be organized after the present Jairam government. took over however it is mandatory to hold at least one jcc meeting in a year the government has asked secretaries and heads of departments of all departments to be present in the meeting the government has already authorized the office bearers of the ashwin infection of himachal pradesh non gazetted employees federation moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin governor alek has said youngsters must take inspiration from nishal instead of limiting themselves to electronic gadgets As lead from Uno district of Himachal Pradesh, a silver medalist in Tokyo Paralympics, Nishal Kumar on Monday met the governor and chief minister along with the family members and coach Nasheem Ahmed. The chief minister congratulated and honored Nishal Kumar for bringing the glory to Himachal Pradesh. Governor Rajendra Vishnath Arlekar said that Nishal has not only proved his talent but also raised the pride of the country by performing excellently. The brilliance of his medal has become a ray of hope especially for the players of Himachal. The governor said that to this youth has remained confined only to mobile and electronic gadgets in a closed room moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin kuldeep rathor said if action is not taken against the accused there will be agitation in the entire state himachal congress took out raise rally in bagrana for reconciliation over the slap incident with the former mla jagjivan pal it was said that if action is not taken against the accused who assaulted former mla jagjivan pal then the congress will agitate in the entire state many people including the state president kuldeep rathor leader of opposition mukesh agnihotri former minister sudeep sharma participated in the rally congress workers raised slogans against bjp during this political atmosphere was greeted up with slogans the police force was also present watching the congress rally mukesh agnihotri said that the mining land and transfer mafia is running the bjp government in this state moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin admission date extended in colleges till september 15 counseling starts for dlet himachal pradesh directorate of higher education has extended the last date for taking admission in degree and sanskrit colleges of the state till september 15 director of higher education dr amirjit kumar sharma informed that on demand of many college principals student organizations and parents the date of admission has been extended now till september 15 students will be able to take admissions in class 1 second and third himachal pradesh board of school education has started the counseling process for two year diploma in elementary education set 2021 session 2021 to 2023 for admissions in government diet and private board recognized educational institutions board president dr suresh kumar toni informed that the date wise information of the candidates selected for the counseling process according to the merit list is available on the website of the board moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin assembly speaker vipin parmar said Jagdeepan Pal wants to be in headlines by adding my name into the incident. Assembly Speaker Vipin Singh Parmar said that the incident of scuffle and assault with the former MLA Jagdeepan Pal is unfortunate. They condemn it in strongest terms. He said that in order to save his existence and to get cheap popularity seeing the elections approaching, former MLAs are trying to come into the limelight by linking this incident with my name. He said that he and BJP have nothing to do with the Rana incident and it is only an attempt to keep himself alive in political form. by coming in the headlines of social media and newspapers 
Moving ahead to the next news in today's bulletin, a woman in of Pangra, Ankita Bilaspur won gold. Wrestler showed stamina in the state level wrestling competition at Adarsh Government Senior Secondary School, Puthera of Governments in Himachal Pradesh, Bilaspur district. The chief guest of the competition was Principal Omkar Verma. State Wrestling Association's General Secretary, Dagzish Kumar, Union's Acting President, Dr. Sanjay Yadav were specially present there. Subdivisional Magistrate Gumar Bin Rajiv Thakur said that sports have different importance in life. Panchayat head Jyoti Prakash thanked the wrestling association for organizing the competition. Moving ahead to the last news of today's bulletin, lab technician recruitment exam result declared. Himachal Pradesh Staff Selection Commission Hamirpur has declared the result of recruitment examination for filling 29 post of medical lab technical grade second in the health department. The commission had sought applications for these posts in April 2021. Out of 1,142 applications, only 30 applications were found correct. Following the rules of the commission, these candidates were called for the direct evaluation test, in which eight candidates were selected. Whereas for 21 reserve categories post, due to non-availability of any eligible candidates, these posts remain vacant. So that's it for today's bulletin, guys. We will meet you again tomorrow. Till then, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.